Mwenye na wewe ametuhifadhi na ametupa kibali cha kuona siku ya leo iposa kwa leo hii sisi hivyo kwa hivyo bila kupoteza muda tutataka tutende kwa mafundisho ya siku ya leo kama kawaida tutaheruhusu kutumia lugha mbili na mimi tutaelewana bwana Yesu asifiwe asifiwe tena so our topic today talking about allowing god to be our refuge allowing god to be our refuge in times of storms allowing god to be our refuge in our times of storms kumruhusu mungu kukua kibilio letu wakati wa shida zetu allowing god to be our refuge in our times of storms i start by defining the word refuge for us to understand when we talk about refuge refuge means anything that brings relief safety or aid to a person anything that relief aid or brings safety to a person many a times that you get that when we have a problem in our country for example when we had kama ile vita hapo awali you could get that there are those people who were taken to refugee camps to me that is what, that was the only place where that they could get their safety therefore when we talk about refuge it means that this is a place where by we get our safe we get our aid or a place where by you get that our relief is bona esa sipiwe therefore when i'm talking about allowing god to be our refuge in times of our storms it means that in other times it could be yes i've been through storms but i won't allow god to come into my storms So 
anaweza kutenda. That what looks impossible unto human eyes. Ya kwamba kile ambacho kinaonekana hakiwezekani kwa macho ya mwanadamu. As a Christian and what the God is my refuge. Kati kama Mkristo ninajua kwamba Mungu ni kimbilio langu. I should know that it is possible with him. Inafanya je ya kwamba inawezekana kwake. Tuwapigie makofi wasi kama watii. So we are told that how can we make God our refuge? Kwa hivyo tunaambiwa jinsi ya kufanya Mungu kimilioni yetu is by fully trusting on him. Ni kwa kumtegemea yeye kikamilifu. Let us come back to our our level that wacha basi turudi mahali tulikuwa. To normalize katika maisha yetu ya kawaida Look at it. Iangalie. That right now you are very sick. Ya kwamba wakati kama huu uenda wewe mgonjwa. And maybe people have come to pray for you. Na labda umekuja kuombewa. To some there are those who will say that even if you are praying. Hapa itamrama. Kuna wengine ambao watasema kwamba hata kama tunamuombea labda haitawezekana. Na and you know that when you hear a such an, an information or a such a message na unapata ambapo ukipata ujumbe kama huu to some of us when you are sick on that day kwa wengine wetu tukiwa wagonjwa hapo kitandani you get that that is when the situation will become low utapata kwamba hapo ndipo ambapo hali itakuwa mbaya za because you have heard at the voice of what they have been talking about kwa sababu umesikia sauti ya kila ambacho umekuwa ukiongea lakini kuwa mtu ambaye Mungu ni kimbilio lako. It is not what people will talk. Haijalishi kile ambacho watu watasema. But one thing that he or she should be having in his or her mind. Lakini kile ambacho inafaa uwe nacho kwa akili zako. Is that there is someone who is more than what you think. Ni kwamba kuna mtu ambaye yuko zaidi ya yule ambaye tunafikiria. There is someone who is more than what human beings talk about. So what have I come to tell us today? Kwa hivyo nimekuja kutuambia nini ni leo? That we can make God our refuge. Ya kwamba tunaweza kufanya Mungu kimilioni yetu. We can trust on him. Kwa kumwamini yeye. That yes we don't have any amount. Ya kwamba ndio labda leo sina fedha yote. Yes today I have prayed that I'm going to give out school fees. Leo nilikuwa nimesema kwamba nitalipa karo. Nilienda 
kanisani Wana Yesu asifiwe Na siku wakele yote kuma ninaenda kanisa Nilienda peke angu na nikajifungia huko ndani Nilipu jifungia huko ndani nikaanza kuomba Nilipu wadia masa plani nikatoka nikaruni nyumbani Iyo ni wakati I'm absent out of school So, siku nipu patia siku ya pidi Niliamua kwenda shuru Nilena na niangani, nilanyo ni mawamumi Nitatandikuwa, kisha baada ya pale nitakona rudi nubani But guess what? Kuyu ni mungu ambaye unapa kusababisha ma unapa mwita kwa kimilio hako wachi Ikwama ni kwa masumui bebepi kia kaya Nekasani, metuma na list Hako wanaita, mtukulani ya ujaripa kano choka, choka, choka You can imagine, I was seated in front Kia siku ndo ni kiona mungu kwa machu Ani ito madina yote, nilikuwa mele, haku niona hata Haku ni ita nitoke, wemesa sindi uwe Na nipata kile rasani nikasoma, tena sisi kumoja Nikasoma, uhio kwa mzima, wemesa sindi uwe Nikosa ninasema, kuna hali wako nyewe hawezi Kuna hali yonekana mbubu kwako Na lakini kuna yuda liyo mbu zaidi, wemesa sindi uwe Nilipo kuni meka darasani Niko wana juliza niyo ni meatua wengine wa meenda Na nitoto kaje kwenda msalami Nikikimia msalami siwaliku wataniona wanite Sasa nina hile woga na ni mwangu Na lakini sauti kaniambia Yule amana meku protecto nionekana wakitua wengine Mado yungo Nikajipa tumahini Nilipo toka nimeenda msalami Niko na mwalimu wakiswagia na nita Mungelikuwa ni unge panya ni Tensha, nata sayo unakosa mbuku, sirio Nika kimbia kwa nangu mwakalia, niko tayari kwa lolote Nili poenda alaka nimeza Mas, kwa nini ya lipa sikuweza Nika umangia, eh, mada Ni mbuku kukwane zea, yelewe tuku ilo mbegiwa Naka niambia, na lakini Mwanaka, mwanafunzi ya mwene mzuri ya rasana Shida ni kwamba, kila unapotuma wende school fees ni kwa sababu, sipati kujua uko wapi. Kwa nini kwa kiswa hini leo umeungoza, umeungoza, ukienda kwa matu umeungoza, kwa business ni uu mbukwa kuma, kuma nisha kuna shida mahali. Haka nende kwa zile sasa kuendelea, auto kuna ina imbali, ni kwa sa tukupate uko wapi, kwa neeswa sifiu, ni nani ya kijua, kwa neeswa sifiu, ni kwa sa minasema kuna hali zengine, You need just to risk. When you say something, when you say you're looking to impossible, but I know there is one person that I can rely on. This is my refuge. When you say something, it is not all about me. It is all not all about the situation. When you are not seen at school fees, you can say Mr. Samapa, you can say Mr. Sina, 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 Yes, I don't have money. Do you see that? 
pesa. But I can go to my brother and ask my brother to lend me some money. Lakini nilizenda kwa ndugu yangu na nikuombe anipe pesa. If you already have a solution. Ikiwa uko na suluhu. What you need God for? Basi unahitaji Mungu akufanyie. Already you have made up your mind. Ambe ikiwa ushafanya uamuzi. That my brother can lend me. Ya kuomba ndugu yangu anazisaidie. At long last. Na hata hatimaye. You get that brother of yours. Unapata huyo ndugu yako. He supported you. Pia amekushusha. And that is why you remain as in yourself. Na hapo ndipo utabaki ukijiuliza. Where is this God? Mungu huyu yuko wapi? Is God the problem? Je, Mungu ndio shida? The problem is my son. Shida ni mimi mwenyewe. I didn't look at God. Siku mtabazamia Mungu. But I looked at those who can help. Lakini niliwaangalia wale ambao wanazisaidia. I didn't look at God. Siku mtazamia Mungu. But I looked at my enemies. Lakini niliangalia wale ambao ni msaada wangu. And that is why you get. Ndio kwa sababu unapata but we are really struggling. Ya kwamba tunatangana. They are come to tell us. Leo nimekuja kuambia. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. Hajalishi kila wakati unapitia. Just try to call a refuge. Basi jaribu tu kumfanya Mungu kuwa kimbilio. Make God your refuge. Fanya Mungu kuwa kimbilio lako. I see if you will be disappointed. Na ona ikiwa atakuacha. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. We are looking at what the what are the benefits of making God our refuge. Basi tunazitazama faida za kumfanya Mungu kimbilio letu. Remember we are saying that for me to make God my refuge I have to fully trust on him. Tumesema kwamba Mungu kwa kimbilio letu lazima tukutumainie kikamilifu. And now what are the benefits of me trusting in God fully? Na kwa hiyo sasa ni faida ipi utapata ukimtegemea Mungu kikamilifu? Kuna hao watu ambao husema wanajifanya wanajua Mungu na maisha yao kiangalia yanakaa. So when you are looking at that, wewe tunapotazama huko hivi wanasema sisi ni akina nani? Wanaisema sisi ni. Do I portray the image of God? Je, inakaa kama mfano wa Mungu? Kuna mtu anayesaliangalia na anayadma kuna mtu anaweza niangalia na atamani kukuja kwa uko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. I can remember there was a time I had a friend in school. Na kukuka kuna wakati nilikuwa na rafiki shuleni. Yeye alikuwa mwanamke na nilie. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Na unajua Mungu hutenda mambo yake tofauti sana. Na ikabatika akaoleka na kuoleka kwa mtu ambaye alikuwa na uwezo kidogo na ikawa kwamba uzuri kwamba tulioneka kwa wakati mmoja pamoja ndani kwamba Mungu wako niacha nyuma so wakati mmoja tukiwa tunashare akawa ananiambia mmm yule mmejifanya msimama na Mungu endelee kusimama na Mungu endelee kubaki pale wa Mungu sisi tuliamua maisha yetu and that time i could get when i went to where they were they were talking stories about kwenda kwa bana kunywa pombe So ni kwa namuliza hata baada ya kuoleka bado unaona faida ya kunywa pombe. Kaniambia ah, mimi ndiye ile mambo ya wokovu sisi maisha yetu ni kama yao, umeyaona. So that some of my friends when you look at wakati mwingine you talk to them about Jesus Christ. But then when they saw how ameendelea kwamba amenunua amenunuliwa gari ana uwezo You could get that ama wadogo wenye unafikiria warudi kwa Yesu Kristo ama unaohubiria wote wamerudi upande wake. Kwa minaje ni wanasema kwamba mmm wenye mnajua Mungu na wokovu muna nini? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. But thanks to be unto the Lord. Amen. When you make him your refuge, ukimfanya kimbilio lako, he never disappoint you. Hata kuacha. I don't go right now kwa kale leo msichana anakwambia kwamba Hebu nitegemee Mungu. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The some of the things of this world utapata ndio. Na lakini ni kwa kuja mchache sana. The some of the some of the remedies utaona kwamba the solution at that time na lakini hautafika upande wote nao. What I pray today, kile ninaomba leo, let us make this God our refuge. Wacha tumfanye huyu Mungu kwa kibili. That when God is my refuge, wakati 
Amen. My version says that God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountain fall into hearts of the sea. Though its water roar and foam, and the mountain sparks with their sagging. Bona Yesu Asifiru. So you know that when we know God as our refuge, what are the benefits? That we will not fear. There is nothing that will make us fear. It doesn't matter what the world speaks about. As we are to Kwa muda kuta wengi wamenaswa na hali za kiulimwengu. But when we put God to be our refuge, tukimfanya Mungu kimilio letu. When we call out to this God as our refuge, tukimuitia yeye akiwa kimilio. Let this will not be something to make us fear. Basi hiki hakitakuwa kitu cha kutufanya tuwe. Also we know that our youth are protected by his blood. Kwa sababu tutajua kwamba vijana wetu wamelindwa. That he is our refuge. Yeye yeah. He knows them very well. And when we call out to him, what is the name of him? His God who will answer. When we call out to him, to know what we need, he's the one who will preserve their destiny. As a poor man, we will lead that to us. So I'm here to tell us. Let us make God our refuge. Let us make God our refuge. To find a home of God, we will be on it too. Benefit number three. Faida ya tatu. He is our present help. Yeye ni msaada wetu wa karibu. That one we will be getting it from the book of Psalms 62. Tutapata kutoka katika kitabu cha Zaburi 62 verse 7. Mstari wa 7. Zaburi 62 mstari wa 7. Kwa Mungu wokovu wangu na utukufu wangu mwamba nguvu zangu na kimilio langu ni kwa Mungu. My Bible says my salvation and my honor depends on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So, here the point tells us that he is going to be our present help. Kwa hivyo hapa kipengele ni kwamba atakuwa msaada wetu. He is our present help. Yeye ni msaada wetu wa karibu. So when you make God your refuge, ukimfanya Mungu He is going to be your help in all situations. Even before you utter what you want. He says that he knows. And many times that you get that you receive. So we have to make God our refuge. Because he is our present help. I'm a testimony of this. Maybe you should know why. There is a time in my life. Kuna wakati maisha ni mwangu. When I bought my first one. Wakati ambao nilipata mzaliwa wangu wa kwanza. I was living all alone. Nilikuwa ninaishi peke yangu. I'm the father. Na baba yake. I'm the father. Okay. Yeye ndio baba. I'm the mother. Tena ni mama. I have to look at to what we think it. Nilikuwa nilibidi niangalie hata kuna nini. Nimeso ya mimi Kiswahili. Na kwa wakati huo ikawa kwamba ninajitegemea. Ndio nimejifungua tu miezi miwili. Na kila kitu kinanitegemea. Na wakati huo unakumbuka kwamba unapojifungua mtoto kwa miezi mitatu ya kwanza wakati mwingine mtoto huwa analia na kama mama wakati mwingine kama haujui majukumu ya mama vizuri utachanganyikiwa. Ikawa e kwamba wakati huo niko peke yangu ninajitegemea. Ninauliza Mungu, Mungu unataka aje na maisha yangu. Wakati mmoja kawa ni kama nimefika mwisho. Nikawa nimeanza kwenye kitanda, ninaenda kwenye baba. Na analia kulia, sina wa kuachia. Nilipoenda kwa baba na uzito moyo. Na kumbuka hiyo wakati nilienda maneno matatu. Nikamwambia Mungu, kama ni wewe umenipa mtoto huyu. Wewe ni Mungu. Sijui kulipa
mwenyewe wa wa mwenyewe ya mtoto huyu bwana Yesu asifiwe na hadi sasa Mungu amemlea bwana Yesu asifiwe nilipokuwa ninawazia cha kumnunulia kama ati mabazi mimi nilipata cha cha mwenye sijajua ameleta mavazi ya mtoto amepa bwana Yesu asifiwe nikakumbuka wakati mmoja huyo wakati nikiwazia ninapaswa kutafuta mavazi ya mtoto huyu ninapaswa kutafuta jinsi ya kula ninapaswa kutafuta jinsi ya taishi nilikuwa na neba tatu ya yeye hata hivi ninapitia nini alitokea kwa mnoe with a whole briefcase bwana Yesu asifiwe akaleta mambo ya mtoto aliyetoa viatu baada ya kwa umri wa kuba viatu bwana Yesu asifiwe and today tuna nasema mara nyingi wanamuita pepa kwamba yeye ni pepa ya Mungu usinang'ani naye bibi zake zinaenda tu hivyo ni Mungu mwenyewe anajua jinsi anachukulikia bwana Yesu asifiwe in other terms what does it mean when we make this god our present head tukifanya huyu Mungu kwa msaada wetu wa karibu there is nothing that we will be looking at as difficult hakuna kitu cha kwetu tunaona kwa kigumu tusamba alikuwa anaangalia maana ni kwamba nina pesa Mwanana kwa kali na nyingine na lakini ninaporudi ndani ya nyumba ilikuwa ni kama vile ya besi ninauliza Mungu kutaenda aje una makusudi gani uliponipa ulikuwa na makusudi gani na hadi sasa nimemuona Bwana Yesu asifiwe niulize ninalipa aje karwa yake juzi nikakutana na mle pale njiani ndo nimeshuka gari natoka shule baada niuliza and how do you manage to pay the school fees of the two in a school like this
Point number five. We are given confidence. Mama, when we make God our refuge, we get confidence from Him. There are some situations that you cannot make it your own. But there is somebody who can help you. Lakini kuna mtu ambaye anaweza kukusaidia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. You look at a situation and you feel like I cannot. Unaangalia hali hadi unahisi siwezi. But there is one person. Lakini kuna mtu mmoja. Who can give you confidence? Ambaye anaweza kukupa ujasiri. When you rely on this person. Wakati ambao unategemea mtu huyo. And even a person sees you having come out of the situation. Hadi mtu akikuona umetoka kutoka kwa hiyo hali. They don't believe it is you. Hawaamini ni wewe. That one you will get it from the book of Proverbs 14:26. Tutapata katika kitabu cha Methali 14:26. The Bible says, whoever fears the Lord has secure fortress and, it, and their children it will be a refugee. So when we rely on this God, Wakati ambao tunamtegemea huyu Mungu, when we make God our refuge, wakati ambao tunamfanya kimbilio letu, he gives us confidence. Anatupa tumaini. He gives us confidence. Anatupa tumaini. So you shouldn't worry about your life. Kwa hivyo usijali kuhusu maisha yako. We have one person who is our refuge. Tuko na mtu mmoja ambaye ni kimbilio letu. Let me just summarize with a story. Wacha nimalizie kwa hivi. I hope that you understand. When I say something, so when I talk about giving us confidence, me kise na mu mukutu patu maini. It means that when you are in a storm, in a manish or when you go out to the road, and you feel like you cannot, na unahisi kana kwamba hawezi. There is a confidence. Una tu maini. There is that strength. Una zile mufu. That God give it unto you. Ambazo mungu anakupatia. That it is not normal. Ya ambazo siza kawaida. Being a living testimony. Nikiwa ushida ushio. There was a time. Kulikuwa na wakati. I was married. Nilikuwa ni mwadeo. It was my first marriage. Nilikuwa ni mdoa yangu ya kwanza. I got married when I was 34. And you only work here when I'm here for three months. At twenty-five, and you keep on here for three months, and now the person who married me was no more. We never put on my new one in your account. How could I go to him? But I remember during that time I was teaching in Nairobi. Na kumbuka yao wakati ni kwa manafuni na mwani mo Nairobi. And it was in the morning. I just woke up. Na ni kwa subu ili me akuka. Prepare himself. Akajianda. Went to work. Akenda kazi. I prepared myself. Went to work. Nikajianda pi and kenda kazi. Then when I was at uh, my workplace, wakati mo ni kwa kazi ni. I got a phone call. Nikapata simu nika pikiwa. And I was told that uh, you are needed. Nikambiwa ni mitajika. At Nairobi Women Prison, uh, Women Hospital. Katika hospitali ya umama ya Nairobi. What is it? Ni nini sasa? Your husband has got an accident. Ah, uh, mume wako amepata ajali. You know I'm still very young. Kumbuka bado mimi ni mchanga. I don't mind it. Sijui chochote. But then when I went there, wakati ambao nilienda huko, it was packed. Ilikuwa ya kushangaza. That was when I knew when God gives you confidence. Hapo ndipo nilijua Mungu akikupa tumaini, you are no longer a human being that is a normal one. Wewe si kiumbe ambacho cha kawaida. That is why we are told that for you to take this person to Kenyatta Hospital. 
Hapo ndipo unaambiwa kwamba ili wewe umpeleke kwa hospitali ya Kenyatta, you have to have an ambulance that has all the machines. Lazima ukue na gari ya ambulance ambayo iko na vifaa vyo. Wewe the last man na pesa za kutosha. For you to make this person to be in this hospital. Ili wewe kuhakikisha kwamba amelipa bill zake za hospitali. You need to be paid 100,000 per day. Lazima unalipa 1,100 kwa siku. Na to any other hospital. Na kwa hospitali nyingine yoyote. You are not sure you are going to get a person to attend to him. Hauna uhakika ile utapata mtu wa kumshughulikia. That is when you look at yourself and you feel like it is the end of the world. Hapo ndipo unajiangalia unaona ni mwisho wa maisha. But guess what? Lakini anini? When you make God your refuge, ikiwa utafanya Mungu kimbiliona. He becomes an answer to your situation that you don't have. Anafanyika chipo kwa kila hali ya solution to anything that you think that is not having a solution. Suluhu kwa kila ambacho unadhani hakina suluhisho. He was sick when he came on a Mungu. And guess what? getting that confidence of telling these people that money is nothing kupata huo ujasiri wa kuambia watu pesa si kitu let him be here wacha awe hapa and they believe you na kisha wanakuamini even after looking at you like na waka kama nini hata baada ya kuangalia kana kwamba what do you have but god stood lakini mungu alisimama and now what is that situation that you look at and you feel like I cannot. Make God a refuge. Find a mungo kuwa to my life. And you see, na utaona. If it won't work, iki wa haita fanya kazi. He's the God who gives us confidence. Yeye ni mungo abana peana to my life. Who is our present help? Yeye ambani msaada wetu wapari. Who is an answer to every question? Yeye ambani chipu kwa kila swali. So today I come to tell. Kwa hivyo leo nimekuja kutuambia how sweet is it? Ni vema kiasi gani when you make God your refuge? Wakati ambao unafanya Mungu kwa kimbilio lako. Stand on your feet. Simama kwa miguu zako. I just want us to speak unto the Lord this morning. Nataka tu tuongee na Mungu